Hey everybody, welcome back to another movie review. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. Just want to give you guys a quick heads up. Uh, there's going to be a ton of movie reviews uh, in the next few days um, because I have a lot of movies that I will be seeing. Uh, this is the first of them. Um, so just be on the lookout. There's going to be a ton of reviews coming to this channel. Um, and uh, just, you know, so if you just notice a lot of reviews back to back, that's just because I've been pretty active in watching a lot of movies. Because there's a lot of films that this month that I'm actually particularly interested in. And this one is definitely one of them. Uh, the Silent Twins, which I just got out of, uh, stars Letitia Wright and I want to say Tamara Lawrence, I think that's her name. Um, and whew, this is an interesting one. Um, it's weird. <laughs> I think that's the I think that's the best way to put it. It's weird, but it's the kind of weirdness that I also like. So, um, I mean, for starters, it's visually pretty interesting. Um, I wouldn't say it's pro provocative. I feel like it's trying trying to act that way. Um, I'd say it's just more fascinating because of what they're playing with in terms of visuals. There's also a lot of stop motion animations that are played throughout the film that range from pretty interesting to kind of eerie um, to a little bit creepy. Um, and that's strangely the, pro the progression of the film. It starts out starts off kind of light, like you you know you're following these two sisters and you know seeing their bond and the 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 hard thing or not the hard thing what's the word I'm looking for the the issue at the start of the movie is that there's automatically something going on between these two you know they they have this particular bond that they are very you know they're like this you know and the movie makes it a point to show that this is also the problem you know there's a uh, a a disorder of some kind at the center of this you know and you know what starts out as kind of innocent turns into like descent you know they kind of fall into some kind of madness to kind of like a reawakening of sorts you know kind of coming back to their senses in some regard um and a lot of that has to do with the fact that these two are very isolated like they stay in their home their, their room a lot and that they eventually come to finding some kind of passion which is writing and they fall into this this artist type mindset and they look for inspirations for their art and um and within doing all that and you know being so socially removed and being so being more and more reliant on each other you know they um they start to um they start to mentally just deteriorate and just start to fall very 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 fast and um that's where they end up in a facility and once we get to the facility like visually it gets pretty pretty haunting like there's some images um that were like getting under like under my skin um so so visually it's quite interesting um and um where it gets a little hard for me to say of the movies because I, I did like it but I can't say I loved it because the navigation is where things get a bit a bit messy because thematically speaking it's hard to fit, pinpoint what the movie's about at first it's you could look at it as like sisterhood you know this bond between these two girls um, you can also look at it as like the consequences of being isolated you know and that what, what that can lead to in terms of a mental state um, it could also be making a comment on a certain disorder and all these other things. But, like, the movie doesn't really know where it wants to go. It kind of just explores these two sisters. And it doesn't really have much of a, um, much of a certainty as to what it wants to comment on on these two sisters. Like, it doesn't want to be about their bond, doesn't want to be about their disorder, doesn't want to be this and that. And it wants to be all of it, and then... Um, your feelings are just kind of torn, you know, in terms of these people, you know, like, at some point I was thinking, like, are they, like, putting up a front, you know, like, I was thinking about that at one point, I was like, are they putting up a front, or is this an actual disorder, um, and, like, like, in terms of it, in terms of your own feelings, in terms of how you're supposed to feel about it, the movie's not really giving much clarity on that, and I, 
I can't say it's interpretive, like, because the movie's not trying to be that way. It's more or less an odyssey. Like, that's, I think that's the best way to put it, because you're just kind of going through with these, with these two girls, like, where they end up going, like, uh, they'll end up at their house, and then they'll, at one point, you know, end up, you know, robbing a certain place, and they'll end up at the facility, and then, you know, they're, you know, visually, it'll go back and forth to these, with these two girls. It gets a little weird. It gets a little weird, and I know for some people, they probably will be turned off by it, um... I, there was one person that just literally kept coming back and forth from the theater. Um, but I like weirdness in movies, um, you know, even if it doesn't fit all the time, especially, like, for Silent Twins, the weirdness that it brings, it's... It works, and the, then it doesn't. Um, like, it's a bit disjointed. I think that's probably the best word for it. In terms of its navigation, in terms of its structure, you just feel kind of... Like, it's kind of hard to get a read, you know? Um... And, um, like, I'm a, as you can tell, I'm a little bit torn, like, because the performances are also really good. I liked Letitia Wright. She was great. I really liked her in this, um, as well as the other girl. Um, but, and I liked visually what it's trying to do, and I liked the, the oddness that it, that it, I like that it represents itself in, in not such a typical way, you know, it tries to go for this offbeat type, um, which I like, but, but, like, in terms of a structure, and in terms of its, in terms of a read, in terms of navigation, it gets a bit problematic, and, um, like, it feels like at some, at, towards the end, like, it feels like you're getting hit, you get, feels like you're getting hit by something, it's like, okay, I feel like I've heard this before, but the problem is that you don't know what it is, you know? Like, like they are they're presenting so many ideas to you, like the idea of sisterhood, isolation, this pot potential disorder. Um, and the movie just doesn't know which one to choose, you know? It's just, it, it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird little piece, but it's a, it's a weird piece that I, that I dug to an extent. Um, so, um, like I said, the performances are good. Visually, it's quite interesting. And as a story, it's interesting. I like the story. Um, like, I like the idea of this, of, you know, these two sisters and, you know, what ha what, what happens when that bond is too tight. You know, like, I like that idea. I just wish that, I just wish that, like, the movie can never answer the question. What are you trying to get across to us you know what what is it about these two sisters that is really important you know that we should understand is it their disorder is it their bond um is it this or that you know um because eventually it just feels like stuff is just kind of like they're just kind of throwing things at you like oh they want to be writers and then oh they end up doing hard drugs and oh they end up in a facility you know it's like it's just like picking moments you know and not necessarily having certainty you know like like this is what the movie's about you know they don't it's not they don't really have that you know with the with the silent twins it's more just like an exploration of these two versus having um more of a of a uh more of a planted you know like this is what this is the idea we want us to, to, to drive home and this is this this is what we want to represent it's more of like i said an odyssey and at some points it works, and then a lot of other points, particularly once we get to the facility, it gets a little troublesome in terms of navigating it, and you just kind of feel a little punched out, you know. But I didn't hate it. Again, I can't say that I hate it. It's a weird thing. It's there's a lot of stuff in it that I like, and then there's a and there's a lot of stuff in terms of its presentation that are troubling. So, for now, I'll say I like it. I don't know if I would ever see it again, but it's it's a it's an interesting piece. It's weird. It's it is weird. Um, visually, it does get a bit uh, weird um, and a little disturbing. But um, but I didn't hate it. It's it's a weird one. It's a really really weird one. It's the best word to describe it. It's weird. Um, but it's the kind of weird that I kind of dig. But it didn't always work work here so i think that's the best way i can put it so so yeah that's my thoughts on the silent twins i liked it but not 
quite. So you guys let me know your thoughts on the Silent Twins. If you guys saw it, did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Are you guys kind of in my boat where you're just like, I'm not sure how to feel. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, stay tuned. We're getting a lot of reviews coming your way very, very soon. So hope you guys are ready. Um, it's because uh, I'll be seeing another movie today. So check, make sure to check out the reviews when they all come out. So that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.